here with Rhett, and I'm going to show you how to, I would start with the um, desensitizing to plastic lesson. So <clears throat> I just have a plastic bag, and then I had I just ran it through the, back through the handles, and then cut out the end and put it on a stick. So if he's interested in it, he can he can look at. It. But um, I'm just going to do it um, at liberty, so he can have like the option if he wants to run away, he can. So first, I'm just going to kind of move it like around him. So I'm just going to have it like wave it around his face, like on the outside, and then I'll go back and touch him with it. So I just want to kind of do it um, like in a progressive way. So I don't want to just stick it on him and hope for the best. So I'm just going to move it right here. I'm just going to wait till he relaxes. So he blinked his eyes, and then I'm gonna just drop the bag. So like he looks pretty relaxed, but when I started shaking it, like his eyes got a little big. So some of them will be w much worse than that, but we just wanna train him to stay relaxed. So I'm just gonna start it again, side his shoulder, and just kind of a low, it's like medium energy. But he's a little worried, he's gonna wait. Wait for him to blink. Let's go with him. There. Not too worried. So it's gonna move down. Not he blinked. He's not too concerned, so it's gonna move down. You want to just give yourself enough space so if they get scared, like if they get scared and want and like start pushing their heads towards you, just turn it from desensitizing and just get them out of your space and go send them around for a canter for a little bit. I just canter them for about two minutes um, so they, they know that they have that option to leave, but that it's not a great option. But the important part is that they know they have an option so they, they're, they don't feel trapped and then they'll um, be better about the desensitizing. So if they got really scared and then um, had like an, a breakthrough, I'd go ahead and click and then treat them for that. And you want to do it right when they start to relax because you want to reward them for the relaxation. There, he blinked his eyes and so stop. He's not too concerned, so I'm going to move down. There he blinked and move down here. So, you kind of have to watch the whole horse, like, is he tense, is he flinching, is his head up, is he blinking, like, you kind of have to um, watch the whole horse. So he's good with that, he wasn't too concerned, so I'm just going to kind of touch him with it on the shoulder. <coughs> there he blinked, so I'm just going to take it away. Touch him on the shoulder, he's not too concerned. I'm just going to kind of work my way down his back, the side. I think he's gonna fall asleep pretty much. But you always wanna make sure like that your horse is okay with these things. Um, and like, cause at the beginning when I first kind of whipped it out, he was like, his eyes got a little wide, he got a little worried. Um, so you just wanna make sure that they can get through that okay. Cause you could say like your horse is really quiet, but they can be spooky at different things and you won't know until it happens. So it's just a good idea to make sure and check out everything out. <laughs> Some people like to just like grab it, grab the bag like in their hand and then bringing out. But I like to have this stick so I have um, extra space between me and the horse. And when you're desensitizing, you want to make sure your bag doesn't like go over their withers because they could see it on the other side and then run towards you and run you over. Make sure it's on this side. So I'm just gonna wait from here. He's just distracted. So when he just relaxes here, I'll reward him. So um, he wasn't afraid, but he was looking out at the 
other horses in the pasture. So when he went from like looking and being alert to just coming back and, and just kind of standing relaxing, I'll reward him for that. Because I want his focus and relaxation. So just do the same thing on this side. And you're not going to be too concerned. So just go through it really quick. Make sure we don't have any weird spots. And then you can kind of desensitize them like on their head a little bit. Just kind of like bring it over, up over their eye a little bit. Because they don't like it on their face like that. Try not to poke it in the eye, but. So I'm just gonna kind of work here, like going around his face here, and then I'll reward him once he brings his head down a little bit. So you don't want to like leave it on there. He put his head down, but he didn't uh, blink his eyes, so I'm just gonna wait for that. Okay. okay. So I wanna. You don't want to just stick it in their face and like cover their eyes because they'll get. A Lots of them can get really spooked by that, so you just want to um, have it come over the side of their face so they know that they're going to, it can be on their face, but it's going to come off. So wait for him. I want it there, so he's pulling away. There, he brought his face back, so I'll just pick, take it up there. So bring it back up. Thinking about maybe eating it. There, he's pretty cool with it. Okay, so just do the same thing on this side. Because there could be plastic like flying around or blowing up in their face and stuff. So we just want to make sure that they're going to be ready for anything. So I'd like his head to be lower before I end. So he didn't really like it approaching, so I'm just going to work on that a little bit. Try not to poke him in the face. Okay. So that time he didn't move his head around. So I'm gonna reward him for that. And he's done with that. He's pretty good with it. So um, as long as you just do it at least once with your horse, even if they're this quiet, just just make sure that that's um, what you're gonna get. Because you can get lots of quiet ones, but sometimes certain things can just scare them so you just want to make sure and stay safe. 